Are we at the end of days, at the end of time? If so, how close are we? What should we do about it? How should we live our life? Personally, I think you should go on with your life. The Bible says as the days of Noah, they're going to be eating and drinking and giving in marriage. So never once does it say that we should put our life on hold or wait or stop having children. Absolutely not. If you need to get married, get married. If you need to have babies, have babies. Go about your life. Occupy until Jesus comes. However that looks. I don't know. I'm not the expert. However that looks. Continue your life. Tell others about Christ. We're supposed to go in, out into the world. We're supposed to make disciples. We're supposed to try to snatch people out of the fire. I think that's the reason we're here. I mean, when people get saved, why don't Jesus just take them home right away? No, we have a job to do while we're here. Yes, we should look up for our redemption draw nigh. We should be prepared in our heart. The book of Revelation you should read it. Read it aloud. You should do these things. But you have to continue your life living. Yesterday was Mother's Day. I used to hate Mother's Day going to church because I would look at all the perfect mothers and knowing that I was not one of those perfect mothers. I know better now. But I do better now, too. And now that I'm a grandmother, I have grown children. I learn how to speak to people. I've learned. So it's a process. Your life is a process. So if you're a mother, happy Mother's Day. If you're trying to have children, not able to have children, or a, a mother to fur babies, happy Mother's Day. But I've been in the book of Matthew, New Testament. You should read it. Chapter 24. I went down several verses. Today, I was just looking at the one that I left off. This is Jesus speaking. The words are in red. And then many will be offended and will betray one another and will hate one another. The verse for before that, Jesus said, And they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my namesake. We talked about that. And many will be offended mm -mm -mm. and will betray one another and will hate one another. That's happening right now. You can go out in public and you can speak any name that you want, any false God that you want. You could talk about any religion that you want. Nobody really cares. But if you say the name Jesus, everybody's all up in the air and discombobulated, turn around and walk the other way. They don't like that word, Jesus. They don't like that word. Um, it messes with them. You could say Buddha, Muhammad, Hare Krishna. You can say whatever these gods are. You can name the hundreds of Hindu gods. It's okay. But speak Jesus. And people don't like that. Live your life. Live your life. Every single day, try to be a better person than you was yesterday. Like I said, when I grow up, when my kids were growing up, I hated going to Mother's Day church. I knew I wasn't the mother that that pastor was talking about. I knew I wasn't that perfect mother. I would yell and fuss and cuss at my kids. I'm still not that perfect person, and I never will be. But every day we need to live our life, get married, have children, be a mother, be a parent, be a, be a worker, be a stay-at-home worker. Whatever it is you do, do. Read the Word of God. Tell others the name of Jesus. And every day try to be better than you was before. We'll never be perfect. No, we won't be. But maybe we could be a little bit better than we was back then. Are we close to the end? Let's talk about it.